Go <laughs> hey everyone. This is Ben and Scott with Connect Outdoors. We're going to go through a quick demo of the new tournament software that we have. Um, everything has uh, been refreshed and redesigned to make it easier for tournament managers and also participants uh, using the Connect Scale app to be able to track their uh, position in tournaments when they're uh, you know fishing and competing. So. Um, ConnectScale.app is uh, no longer, it, there, we have a message there if you go to it saying, go to our new leaderboard, which is located at connectoutdoors.co. So if you go to that web page and that link, you'll see our Connect Outdoors page where we sell our scales and uh, all of our other Connect Outdoor products. But up at the top on the main menu here, we have Connect Leaderboard. So if you click that link, this is our new uh, landing page for, for the leaderboard. So we have our partner organizations that are listed here and we'll be adding more as we come. But as a director or a tournament admin, what you're gonna do is click in the top right-hand corner where it says director login. So you'll be able to log in here and this will be the same email and password that you've had, uh, ha had in the past. So uh, I am going to... Uh, if you, if you don't have an account, you can click here. Don't have a director account, click register. So I'm go, just gonna go through and uh, go through the process of signing and creating one. And Ben, um, yeah, th this is very user-friendly uh, versus what, we, uh, what we've what we had in the past. So this enhancements that we've, that we've come up with, I, I feel like is gonna be a win-win. Yeah, I agree. It's, uh, we've really been working on this about two years, really, and it's been in the process for this redesign. So uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming um, coming in the way. So I just created a new director account. So right now, this is my blank screen. Um, what I can do is I can come in and create a new tournament with this ad event, or if I want to create an organization, say I'm a director of a club, a high school club, a college club, a college team, I can come in here and add this organization. So you, what you do is it's a, it's a very user-friendly user uh, flow for creating it. So I'm going to create one for the marina that we have, a coverage marina. And then you can say uh, online tournaments. So this is just a description and then you can add a logo if you want. I'll come back and do that later. But so, okay, now I've created my new organization and it's here, Coverage Marina. So now we can go in and start to create our first event. So for the first event, you come in and it's a lot of the same options that we had. We've added a few new features. Uh, you can do private or public. So the difference here is private events are going to be events that you know the user's registrations email and you're going to send an invite out to them to get them and invite them in the app to join your tournament. A public will be uh, any it's going to create a public event where anyone can click a register button and sign up. So it just really depends on how you want to manage your event, whether you want to uh, have it private and send out the invites, you know who's going to be participating. That's real good and that prevents you know anyone from the general public coming in and joining. But if you do want a, a, an open event, to it, you're trying to recruit new users, new members, uh, you can have that public event here and uh, allow anyone to join. So we're just going to create one, say, July Bash. Uh, I don't have a logo for it yet. We're going to select our new organization that we just created. And the tournament code is going to be the code that uh, tells our, so our software on the app, on the Android and iOS. And that, that app hasn't changed. It's still the ConnectScale app. Uh, so you download that from either the iOS store, or the Google Android Play Store, uh, and you'll want to make sure that you have the latest version of that because we've made some enhancements in how the uh, the the backend servers and everything works. So you want to make sure that you have the latest version. But we're just going to put um, July twenty two as our and ben, ben, real quick, um, if the make to make it um, the easiest thing to do that I've found is just, just you can just remove the app and then re-add the app. And that will ensure that you have the, the latest and greatest version. So people that are not technical on here, basically just just uh, remove your app and just re-add it back. That's right, yeah, best to delete it. Re and, and if you have problems, you can also reboot your phone after you've deleted it and that clears the cache and uh, the other information, it'll start fresh and pull everything in. Uh, and get you started fresh. Uh, so I've I put the name of the new event in here. Now, 
here's the option when we're creating on the timing. So we have three options here for you. you can cut off registration at the start of the event, 24 hours before the event starts, or you can let registration run, run until that event is going to end. So for this one, we're going to, uh, since we're going to start at July 1st and run it through the month of July, we're going to allow people to, to join any time in the month since this is our first one. We don't want to to limit it uh, to just those pre-registrations. So I say it's a calendar tool. You select it, you select the date and time. So we're gonna run it for the full month of July. Uh, and we will go through 11.59 PM on July 31st. So now that we've selected our time, here's where we can select our scoring. So you have single, which is individual based events, or you can do, uh, if you're doing a private event, you can do team events. If, you, if you're doing public, Right now, uh, you don't have the option to do team events. All team events are going to be private events because you know what that team roster is going to be. So the way that uh, we'll, we'll be, we can go through that in another uh, video. But basically what you'll have is a spreadsheet that you create with the email of the uh, angler and the team name for that angler. And then you'll upload that CSV file to create your roster for your teams. So that's one uh feature that we've added to make it uh, a lot easier to create your teams and the team names for sending those registration invites out. But uh, for scoring types, we have right now we have count, weight, and length based scoring. And then you'll also notice down here the standard weight. That standard weight is using a calculation based on um, a formula that, that we've collected from the Texas Wildlife Department uh, uh, based on largemouth and Scott, we're using the the New York standard for for smallmouth and ca calculating that standard weight uh, based on length, right? Yeah. So so there's two things. We use the Texas fishing game for largemouth. In other words, if the Texas fishing game thinks a 15 inch largemouth weighs this, this is what we have in our formulations, and then or in our formulas, and then the uh, the smallmouth uh, and spotted bass are based on the the uh, New York fishing game uh, uh, calculation. So if a small mouth is 15 inches, it weighs X. So that that's the that's the best uh, alternate or, or opportunity we have right now to uh, to get those uh, correct uh, length to weight, uh, uh, biologically speaking. I guess is a good way to say it. So okay. we found a way to do it. And, that, and that's going to be an add-on uh, sort of calculation and, and scoreboard for you. So you still have your traditional uh, scoring method. So weight, you can use the connect scale to pull in the weight from the scale, and it's going to automatically populate. Or you can also do manually entry of the weights if, if everyone doesn't have the same scale, uh, the connect scale. You can still use this tournament software to uh, run weight-based events. And then if you just want to run a count-based event, so who, ca who can catch the most, you would select count. And then length, of course, is uh, more, you know, in line with what you see in the kayak industry with the, uh, the length-based events. So we, we have that scoring type as well to where you can uh, have a leaderboard based on length. So for, for this event that we're creating as the demo here, we're going to choose length-based event. And uh, the scoring fish limit is how many fish do you want to be calculated in that total on the leaderboard. So uh, if you leave this blank, it's going, it's going to be everything. So major league fishing style. So it, it'll calculate every catch that's logged and entered. It's going to pull that length in or weight if you were doing a weight-based event. Uh, and it'll total that up as a cumulative score. But for this example, we want to do just the best five length-based event. And then you can do a side pot here for the biggest catch competition. So what this would do is you're going to have your leaderboard board for your top top five, and then we want to select this if we want to have a big catch side scoreboard. So on the big catch, we're going to do also length base for for this one as well. So we've selected length on that. Uh, this top users, this is for that sideboard. So if you only want to show the top three, the top five, the top ten uh, users for that, you can, you can select that. That way, it just streamlines the um, the leaderboard and only shows you the uh, the top so for that those biggest catches. So we've selected all that. We're going to do a standard weight too, just so that that we have that calculation. And again, that we want to do the best five on that as well. So now that we have that, we have the registration and payment details. So this is where you can put in your uh, entry fee amount. Um, and this this money will uh, right now it's coming to Connect Outdoors and will help distribute those funds out to the uh, tournament directors. 
We're working on a feature to where the directors will be able to enter their own banking account information. And this entry fee then will feed directly into your banking account through Stripe payment processing that we're working on. That feature is not quite ready yet. We're still working on it. But uh, right now we can help and work with you on getting the entry fees to you so you can then distribute the prizes. Um, but for this event, we're just gonna have a free fun event. So we're gonna put zero as the, uh, the entry fee and save that. So now that we've got all that, we've created our event. This is the new leaderboard. So now we see we have the July bash event it starts July 1st at 12 at noon and runs through the end of the month at 1159 Eastern. Uh, as a director and as the admin, I can come in and edit and do some new things with this uh, new uh, software that we have. We can manually stop the event if we decide to, to run it. Uh, end it early. You can, and then after you've run it, if you want to re remove it from the uh, the you know the system, you can delete that event. But now that we have this, we 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 see it. Um, this is a way. So now this register button, Scott. If you if you would go to uh, connectoutdoors.co and then look for the CoBridge Marina organization and click on that. I may I may allow you to share your screen if you can, or if you're if you're not, let me know. Yeah, I, I can't I can't share, but um, okay. Well, let me just go you open another window here, and I should be able to to demo that without having to sign in. So what I'm doing here is I'm going back into the Connect leaderboard. Um, now we have this new CoBridge Marina. Uh, group that we've ordered. We see the event that we have. Now, as a random person, I can come in here and register for that event. So I would put in, you know, my name, last name, and then the email. So for this one, I'm going to register under my um, Connect Scale email account. So I'm going to register. Thank you for registering. Good luck in the event. So now if I come back to the leaderboard, I will also in the ConnectSco app, I will receive a notification that I've been registered for this event. So now if I come in here, I can go to uh, and look at it. But if I switch back to my director view and admin view and hit refresh, I should be able to now see that I've registered for that. So I can I can come in here and look and see who's registered. If I click on that, I see Ben Arnold is now registered for the event. So as the event starts and as I start to add catches, my leaderboard would update and keep track of the best five fish based on length that I have. And then we have this new tab here, the largest fish by length. So this is going to be the scoreboard for that big, big catch leaderboard that, that I set up. And then we also have the standard weight leaderboard. And these will populate as, as the event starts and begins. You'll start to see that populate. But since I don't have any catches logged yet, I'm not going to see my name up on the leaderboard. Uh, that's why that was. And then as the good thing from a tournament director's perspective is if someone has, you know, connectivity issues and they're not able to access their app or it's not uploading, they could text message you that or email that that catch to you and you can add a catch for them. So what I would do is I would come in here. I would see the list of users that are for this event. I could put in the weight. I could put in the length inches. I could even upload a photo for them. And then I could basically create that catch for them. Same, same fields that you have when you're uh, entering that catch through the Connect Scale app, you as a tournament director can, uh, can add that catch for, for that user. So that's, that's a good way. And then after the event's over, or as the event's going, you can download a spreadsheet of those catches and the information. And then you can also get a list of the uh, registered users if you do have an entry fee, this field right here, it's going to show you how much they, they've paid and when they registered and the total. And it gives you a snapshot of how much uh, entry fees you've collected. And you can download that uh, as a spreadsheet as well. So it really makes it a lot easier to pull in that data if you're using a, a spreadsheet or some other tool to, to help you manage your season. Well, that this allows you to pull that data in and, and do it. But that, that at a real high level, that's how you go in and create an organization, you create an event, and then you can come in and add catches for, for that person or for anyone as the event has started. Since this event doesn't start to July 1st, if I tried to add a catch right now, it's not going to score because the, uh, the event hasn't started. And same thing with a user using the app. If they go in and they log a catch right now, well, the event hasn't started, so it's not going to score to that, score to that event. 
Scott, any, anything I may have missed in, in running through those? Uh, that yeah, I, I want to let's let's reiterate the difference between the the, the what the count means as far as uh, how that works uh, when we uh, when we create a tournament. Let, let's go over that one more time on the count. Okay. So I'm going to come back in here. I, I'm logged in. I'm still logged in as the director. I can go in and um, under this event event detail, right? So let me uh, log in. We want to go here, click this little profile icon. This is where you can come in and add a new event. So I'm going to create another event. So this one, I'm going to create a private event. We'll just call it test. Uh, we won't select an organization. We'll do, do uh, six, three, two. So we can register up until the event ends. Start date, we'll just select right now, noon. Actually, I wanna go ahead and start it. What is the time? So here's the scoring type again, what we said. And since I created private, you can now see that I could create a team event, but the scoring type. So count, count based is simply when you're logging catches, it's gonna keep track of how many catches you've logged. It doesn't score how long they are, how much they weighed. It's specifically how many you catch. That's what count is. If you do weight based, it's gonna take the weight, whether that's collected from a connect scale and transfer it over to the, uh, the app, or you're manually entering that weight in. And then length, again, is just length based. Uh, you type that into the entry field when you're logging a catch on the Connect Scale app. The scoring fish limit is going to determine how many on weight based and length based events, it's going to determine how many catches you want scored. So whether that be a top three catch, top five event, or you could leave it blank and it would total all of the catches. So that's that's sort of like the major league fishing style <laughs> where every catch counts. Um, so that's that's what you would do there. So this one we're going to do weight based, no no uh, no limit. We want we still want to do the big catch competition. So we're going to select weight. Uh, we'll show the top five users on that. And this one we're not going to use the standard weight because we're not capturing the length. So since we're not requiring the link, there's really no way to, to calculate that, um, that standardized weight calculation based on that formula we went through. So now we've created this weight-based event. We, can, uh, we could enter in the entry fee, whatever we want. Again, we'll make uh, this zero. But if, if we didn't, here you notice, since this is a private event where anglers pay software fee, what this is, is this is, uh, we, we charge as a uh, tournament management software, there's a $5 per user per event software fee that you can either make the anglers pay or you as the director can pay if you're creating a private event. Um, and that fee would be waived for Connect Fishing League members. So if, uh, if someone's a Connect Fishing League member, then they're not going to ever have to pay that tournament software fee. It's going to be waived for every event. So that sort of incentivizes you to join Connect Fishing League then you don't have to pay that, that tournament uh, software fee. But for this, we're still going to do zero. Um, we'll hit save. But now it doesn't let me create the event because if you think back, I selected team event. So it, it's telling me I need to upload a CSV file. Well, I, I don't have uh, a team roster created right now, but if I did, I could um, upload that there. So let's just go back. We're going to make this single event. Um, Actually, it's asking, it's not the team event that's asked, the reason it's asking for that, I, I'm mistaken. It's actually because I created a private event. The private event, when you select that, you have to know who's gonna join that event. So that's why it's asking for that. So I, I misspoke there. Um, but now we'll, we'll just make this public again so we don't have to upload that CSV file. Um, we'll hit save. Now we've created that new test event that starts here at 1025. So it should be started. Now, um, again, we could go register. And Scott, if on your end, if you could go register for that event, that way we would see you as well while I'm registering. Can I register uh, online or do I have to do it through the app? 
uh, you would register either way. So you can go in the app and you should see this now as a, an option, or um, you can uh, go to connectoutdoors.co, click the connect leaderboard, and you would see this event as a public event that you could register for. Okay, so now I've registered for that. So let me just show you that, that leaderboard way you can go through it. So you can go through, you will see this test, test event, June 22nd, June 23rd, 1025. You could you would just click register right here. So let me just register under another uh, name. I'll just do test event. And then I'm just gonna put uh, our demo account that we have. So see, it's recognizing I'm not a Connect Fishing League member with that new um, email account. So then it's asking for the software fee and then the credit card processing fee. So I could I could pay that um, test. I, I'm just gonna use uh, the demo account right now. And you can, you can go ahead and put your credit card number in there so everybody can see it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, I, just had, I just had a fraudulent account. I had to get <laughs> order oh, a new boy. one. So I don't oh, want to go that again. No. Uh, if I can type. Let's see. If this card was declined. Okay, so it's not allowing me. Now that we're in live event, it's not allowing me to use that test test account. But uh, it, did, were you able to register? You should be uh, identified as a Connect Fishing League member. Uh, which term it was it? What was it called? Test starting at June 23rd. Don't see anything under Connect League. I see it's not Connect League. So just go to uh, the yeah the Connect Leaderboard. Connect Leaderboard. Yeah. See the organizations. If you scroll down to Tournament List, it should be the second event that you see there. Okay. Test. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, yeah. Click Look. register and then use your Scott at ConnectScale.com email. Okay. It should. Let's see if it charges you. I don't I don't remember if you're a uh, listed as a member or not. Give me a second, Ben. Okay. So just as he's doing that, I, I've now clicked back in on this profile. So this is the director profile. This is where it'll go, where you would go as a tournament director to manage your uh, events that you've created. So now. We see that I, I under my um, one email account, my tournament director account that I'm logged in with, have the July bash, which is was the length based event that we created. And now we have this test weight event that I just created and that we see the anglers. But if I go in, um, I could I could register uh, for that again. Um, yeah, it's doing the same thing uh, for me also, Ben. For the for the payment, okay. So so you can see how the software is working now. It's wanting to charge uh, the the Connect Fishing League non Connect Fishing League members have to pay that tournament software fee. Um, but what we can do is is we'll set that up. Once you're set up in the account, then that that sort of helps helps manage the uh, the user flow. And what we can do uh, too is work with you to waive that tournament software fee. So if we want to host a few pro promo events. We can waive that uh, software fee and we can get that set up on the back end. But I know we're, we're sort of limited on time here. Hopefully going through those two examples show you how you can create, you know, July bash. So it's total length, best of five fish. And then the test of weight event is total weight of all catches. So as, as we could log those catches, we would be able to do that. Uh, let me just see if I'm logged in here. Yeah, so so this is just a simple demo of really, I mean, we're this really would not pertain to like team events and stuff like that. This is just this is more catered toward individuals fishing. And then we'll probably do another video that, that shows how to update raw or upload rosters and stuff like that coming soon. Yeah, let give us some time. This is brand new live. Uh it's ready to go. Uh we'll we'll work on getting some additional videos created for the uh the team events and show you how to upload those CSV files. But we just wanted to, to do this real quick demo to, to show you the new process flow. And hopefully it's a lot easier than the, for creating the, uh, the events than, than it was in the past. And if you have any questions, reach out to me, ben at connectscale.com or ben at connectoutdoors.co. 
and Scott's available to Scott at connectscale.com and we'll be happy to, to help you as you're starting to create those events. All right, guys, thanks again.